Hi John, lovely to meet up with you the other day and start to do some work on your swing. Just a quick recap on the points that we covered. First of all, I'm going to look at it from face on. Initial session, upper centres or bold centres, not really enough on top of the golf ball. Ball's a touch forward in your stance, handles a little bit too far back and the weight's not really favouring the left side enough. So what we've got is a pretty traditional uh, setup position with possibly the exception of a little bit of foot flow there. Swing itself really good, there's a lot of things going on that I really, really like. Uh, but what I'd like to see is a little bit more like we see here with Charlie up on the top right. Feet float out as with yourself. Maybe his knees are out of touch more, but more importantly, the ball's back, the handle's forward, and the weight is favouring the left-hand side more. If we take a little look at you down here on the bottom now, we can see on this one we've asked you to put 70% of your weight on your left. You clearly haven't done that, but you have got a little bit more left-sided at setup, which I like. Your upper centre now is much more over the top of the golf ball, and that in turn, with the handle location a little bit further forward, will allow you to hit out at this golf ball much more naturally, rather than trying to attack it or shift everything under plane to allow you to do that. If we take a little look at you at the top of the backswing or the first move down when viewed from down the line at the start of your session, this relates to a lot of push shots, um, certainly low point control issues, catching the ball a little bit thin. If we take a little look at you here now as you start down, shaft starts to shallow maybe a little bit too much as we're coming into impact. The club is too much behind your hands at P6 delivery position when the shaft's parallel to the ground. With the handle location further forward and the weight further forward, the feeling I then ask you to have is as though you're going to pull this golf ball left. We've got the cane here on the target line and the feeling is that we're going to hit a straight pull. As we're trying to hit a straight pull, the right shoulder starts to come forward a little bit more, working down plane. Gets you back into forward flexion a little bit more. Gets the left arm working away from the right shoulder a little bit sooner. And as a result, we get the shaft in a much more online position at P6. From this position, We've got to close the club down pretty quickly. You can see the right wrist flattening out a little bit too soon. From this position, we don't need to do that as much. We're still going to want to do it, but we don't need to do it. If we take a little look at the club faces, we're coming through impact. The closure on the club face on this shot is much more than the closure on the club face on the bottom left. Arms separating from the rib cage, hitting out at this golf ball a little bit too much because of the location of the shaft. P6. Hitting out at the golf ball less on this one due to a much better location of the shaft, better shoulder alignment, and all in all, better location of the body weight. A lot of good stuff going on in the swing when we view it from face on again. Shoulders may be working a little bit flat there in the takeaway. Work a little bit more downward because the weight's located more on that left side. Now we attempt, you can see there, there's a lot of hang back, left shoulder working up quite quickly as we try and get the club back inside. Left shoulder working forward and down a little bit more early in the piece. A little bit less hanging back, you can see the gap between your head and the line here, much smaller than what we're seeing here. So that's going to help with your low point control.
an interim pat. Pretty good position on both swings. A little bit less flipping of the wrist results in the shaft reaching parallel in the through swing a touch later and you'd certainly hit out at that golf ball in a much more appropriate manner good luck with it and I look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks well done